why not keep your config files and your doc files in Subversion? I mean, everything in Etsy, why not? I mean, because Unix is Unix. You can configure everything, and you will shoot yourself in the foot. It's just a matter of when you'll shoot yourself and how bad the wound is. I mean, so, so I mean, and this has happened to me time and time again. I make a change to my SSHD config file. Six months later, I realize, oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. But I made five other changes to it, and if I don't have revision control, I'm fucked. So, um, in config files, here's a quick one. Create a repository, import Etsy. All right, you create your skeleton. Use rsync to suck in Etsy. Okay, sudo, right? Chone it to your user, all right? Because you do not want to use Subversion as root. I mean, it's not dangerous, but why should you? I mean, it's not especially dangerous. But in Unix, thou shalt not be root. I must thou must. Um, so I import it. I uh, check it out. Okay, I make a change to my Etsy make.conf, which all Gentoo users know is the keys to the kingdom. Um, now, here's the cool thing. I make my change in my working copy. I do a sudo cp etsy make.conf to slash etsy make.conf, and the permissions and ownerships of this baby are preserved. So I don't have to worry that my working copy is all owned by me and I can do all the permissions however I want. Copy it over a file for all. Test the change, commit the new revision. Okay? Um, uh, doc files you can do the same way, or you can actually just sim link your doc files into your working copy. I don't know if anybody can actually read that, but that's me running ls-l.xemax, and it shows that it's a sim link to doc files trunk xemax. Okay. Um, I actually think the, the uh, way to handle it is to use the config files thing and not symlinks. Um, but I started out with symlinks, so I still have that. Um, and in, in the case of config files and doc files, use branches for different boxing or different groups of boxing. Like my example here is my laptop runs a different resolution than my desktop, right? Um, screen resolution. So the differing Etsy X11 XORGs dot coms can be in different branches. And but the meat of my XORG dot com might be the same or it might not be right. So I believe yeah, that is it. So SVN documentation, um, if you run Jensu it's an easier share docs. Um, and I like I said, I will post a follow up to this to the list. So if you have further questions, um, ask me then and I don't want to take any more time with than I already have. Let's say Smitten and FFmpeg. How big is that basket? Josh, is this uh, application uh, installed default in the distros at the moment? Subversion? Yeah. Probably. Um, you know, um, can anybody speak to that? Not on Gen 2, because no, nothing no. is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like Fedora 4.4 or something like that. Fedora 4. What about uh, CentOS? Is it foreign or Yeah, um, I, I know some of the CentOS developers, and I kind of doubt it. Um, I mean, it is still new. A lot of people still use um, uh, CVS because for a lot of things it's good enough. I mean, it's only the really hairy stuff. This is how you educate all your, your developers how to start using Exactly. And that's, that's, yeah. that would be a big well, challenge to get this. Yeah. Well, luckily, the command lines are so similar that, I mean, it, when we did it at uh, my last job, it was an edict from on high. I convinced the, the bosses to do it, and the bosses said, thou shalt, and nobody bitched, complained, or moaned, which is probably the first time that's ever happened at this company I worked for. And so, yeah, I think half of least resistance. One more quick question. I, I heard you mention uh, using an SSH channel privileges, right? Yeah. That means you have to have a service listening, or, or you meant using SSH as a remote channel? Uh, SSH is just the remote channel. Remote channel, not channel, right? Yeah. It works the same way as, yeah. Okay. It, yeah, it's not a channel. Sure. Okay.